Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins. We just watched LSU close out the regular season with a 23 17 victory over Texas A&M at Kyle Field, fourth straight victory over Texas A&M. Uh, avoids a three game losing streak for the first time under Les Miles. It was a, a classic Les Miles game. Uh, LSU uh, goes up and down the field, uh, can't get enough points on the board, has to hold off Texas A&M at the end. They did get the victory, 8-4, and four, a good finish, uh, a, a good rushing attack, 384 yards. Uh, they won the game. They moved the ball, and Anthony Jennings actually played well this week. Yeah, he, he, he uh, made some great decisions on the read option, uh, career high, well over 100 yards rushing, which which really helped him. And, and the thing is, this was a typical LSU game for this year because in the beginning – it looked awful. First, uh, first uh, series, Jennings throws an interception. Second series, Del Husey misses a chip shot field goal. Third series, Collins gets a, 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 a sportsmanlike conduct, which kills a drive. So you're thinking, God, they ever going to get something going? But they finally did, and, and they, and it, it got going with Leonard Fournette's huge run, running over the A&M safety, a la Herschel Walker from 1980, and that really seemed like. It just sparked them. I mean, they scored 17 points in the last, like, four minutes in the first half, and it really, like, I mean, it showed them the way, so to speak. Yeah, and, and LSU continued that in the second half. A good drive to start the second half. They get the big lead. The defense played again. It was kind of like the Alabama game. Uh, the defense played well the whole game and then had to hold A&M off in the second half. Of course, A&M made some adjustments. Speedy Noyle, the New Orleans boy, made a big catch, 27-yard touchdown. LSU missed another field goal and then had to hold off. Jalen Collins gets the big interception at the end, but the defense played well again. Defense played very well again. A second straight game holding a team under 100 yards rushing, which in this in the SEC is tremendous. And uh, again, offense couldn't put them away. I mean, they had their chances. I mean, the second half. I mean, they had the ball 41 minutes in this game, almost 500 yards total offense, and got 23 points out of it. And that's just like. Uh, they just couldn't put them away the second half. But, again, the defense came up big, and, and uh, you get out here with a win, and now you wait till next Sunday and see what bowl you go to. Yeah, bad red zone offense, uh, exacerbated by the field goal. They shuffled the field goal kickers. And uh, I think that's – I don't know what they're going to do about that. Delahousie was, was, was gold for a while there. I think he had uh, like a, 11 or 12 in a row, and then he missed three in a row. Then he comes back, and he hits a big one that they really needed at the end. But you're right, they're going to move forward. Uh, we'll see where the where, where bowl game they end up in. Uh, I, I think, you know, they'll probably be refreshed by, by the by – the time off, and uh, we'll see what happens going in the next year because we're going to be looking. We're going to be looking at that quarterback position. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean he played well tonight, but again, I mean, he just doesn't throw the ball well enough, and they've got to do something about that. I mean, if they want to be a championship team in this league again, they got to get that fixed. Okay, well, stay with us on NOLA.com, uh, and we'll be we'll stay with LSU all through the month up to the bowl game. Uh, for Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Klein. Peter, we'll see you on NOLA.com.